in this video clip I'm going to take a look at the Black Shoals uh, Merton model which uh, is a very well known model and commonly used for valuing um, um, European options um, and we're going to initially start here by getting some VBA code for Excel and I go to curryback.net uh, so curry back curry uh put together a really good book a few years ago um and he also left some vba code uh to sync with the textbook um so there's a lot of really interesting um implementations of eba code uh for monte carlo for black shoals for binomial model and for more sophisticated derivative models um, so if we go into the developer tab here and then visual basic uh, editor and we'll come down to the modules in the second in the third chapter there's a, a quite a bit of code here but I'm just going to take the bit relating to um, Black Scholes call and Black Scholes put and I will put that into um, the Vinegar Hill website here so we'll come down and we'll just uh, paste it in so um, we'll make that available here um, so that we can paste in okay so that's there now right and we'll take that code we'll go back into excel for a moment and we just take a quick look at the model implementation so i'll create a new spreadsheet and we'll uh, introduce that code so we look for um dba project book one so book one is the new project so if you like um if i went here to our if i got rid of curry back close down the curry back um spreadsheet and then went into uh this book let's give it let's save it so we can file save as and We'll just say simple black shows, simple VBA black shows. Okay. And important here, when you're implementing Excel VBA, you shouldn't just save as the normal default Excel workbook. Ensure that it's Excel enabled, macro enabled workbook and we can save and we can go in here and um enter in in the visual basic editor enter in some code before we can do that we have to double click and insert module and then we can say paste and we then we might just copy here just the name of the function and the sequence of the variables that could be useful. I'll just go back into the workbook and we can paste. Uh, this is no material effect except uh, we can, we just for our own naming conventions and so on. So if we, if we wanted to generate then the value of a Black Scholes uh, call option, uh, what we might initially do is, okay, follow the sequence of variables. So we have S for the stock price, initial stock price. K is the exercise. R is the risk free rate. Sigma is equal to the volatility. Uh, Q is equal to dividend yield. Um, and we have T, right, for the maturity of the option. And I will put in some values that I'm familiar with at this stage where we'll say the stock price is 100 the exercise is also 100 that's the right at which you've either to, the right to buy or to sell in this instance it's the right to buy because it's a call 
sigma is 20 percent the dividend is equal to we'll go with zero here initially and t is 12 months or one year then if we wanted to invoke that the black shoals call uh, we very simply we can say black b l and already we, we're being prompted black shoals call because it's a user defined function that we created it's recognized um okay so we can say uh, we can do it in the same order here well we have to do it in the same order but a very good way of dealing with this is just come up to fx and that will prompt uh, putting in the values in the right order so s is 100 the exercise is 100 the risk free rate is 5% the volatility is 20% the dividend is 0 and then the maturity of the options 1 and that should produce a black shoals estimate of 1045 okay which appears here when we run that just click ok we get 10 then 1045 now if we wanted to value the option that's correct and we'll check it later but that is correct if we wanted to run the same for the put option all we need to do here is change that then to to put and the value of the put option is 557 and again that accords with uh, with uh, values that I'm familiar with okay so that's the simple implementation from carry back uh, of the Black Scholes model in Excel VVA I leave the code on the Finnegar Hills lab web uh, portal